Good afternoon, my fellow Americans. I hope y'all are having a blessed Tuesday. I certainly am, sitting here in my beloved Jeep, basking in the air conditioning that God has blessed us with. Let me get right to the chase. I'm doing this here impromptu video because there's been a lot of hate going around and I can't sit on the sidelines anymore. We're only two months away from one of the most important elections of our lifetime. I'm talking about the midterm elections. You all will vote for who will control Congress and shape our lives for generations to come. And I have the honor to run alongside some amazing candidates that represent what makes this country great. But when I open Twitter, People don't talk about my platform. They don't care about where I stand on the Ukraine, how I plan to fight inflation. They want to talk about my accent. People are saying my accent is made up. That my accent isn't from a single state. That it's got a little of Texas, a sprinkle of Georgia, a dash of New Orleans. That it's some generic accent that some British actor might do in some movie. I look like Benedict Cumberbatch to you. You think I eat beans for breakfast? What kind of person would fake a southern accent? Oh, I can hear the trolls already saying that I'm using the accent to boost my sex appeal. That I could swing a few voters who wouldn't mind swinging me around. I get it. The southern accent is sexy. It draws music to our ears. Time Magazine even had a poll that said that the southern accent is the sexiest accent in the United States of America. Don't you love to hear me speak? The sound of my music. My tense mouth. The way I drop the G's at the end of my words. I know you're jealous. You're sitting at home talking in your New York accent about cheese blocks and bodega cats and dogs. Jealousy breeds envy. But I think you're breeding something else. Something sinister. Something you should talk to your priest about. I'm talking about discrimination. That's right. You all are just discriminating against me because of my accent. Accent discrimination isn't a joke. Just ask Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He had a dream that one day people of all accents could coexist. That's why the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects against accent discrimination. True story. But unlike Dr. King, I believe in violent protest. So, if this video isn't enough to persuade you to keep my name out of your mouth, how about this? This right here is grade A American steel. And it'll settle score fair and square. See, I believe in the right to carry. A sword, that is. Anyone can use a gun. But a sword requires skill, intention. Gunpowder is bad for the environment. But sword fighting is eco-friendly. That's also part of my plan to reduce gun violence in America. Give everyone a sword so they can handle their problems the very old-fashioned way. But I also plan to bring the South into the future. And to the fantasy world. If I'm elected to Congress, I pledge to personally campaign for fantasy characters to have Southern accents. Why are the Brits only the ones who get to be trolls and wizards? Harry Potter could have been from Kentucky. Darnarius Targaryen. Sounds like a hillbilly to me. Now, if you want to join the fight against accent discrimination, just hit the donate button on my page and we'll put the South on the map together. To close things out, from the immortal words of New Orleans' own Birdman, put some respect on my name. I ain't going to say no more. Because I'm from the south of the United States of America. Which state, you ask? All of them. And my heart pumps red, white, and blue. 
Y'all have a good day.